This is the string one, Java bat ends L Y. Common little thing here that we've done with strings before where we want to do something with the last two letters of a string. So right here I have code that's looking to take a substring. I've only put one index into the substring. I've said give me the length minus two. That's a common little code thing we've seen before. If you do length minus one, you get one letter. Length minus two will give me the last two letters. So I want to take this substring, okay? and ask the question if it equals ly. Remember, comparing strings, we do not want to use equals equals. We want to use a dot equals method. Okay, and this is a string literal ly. It's not a variable, so I've put it inside of double quotes. Okay, so this is going to come back true or false. If I were to hit go right now, I would see some out-of-bounds errors. Okay, and those errors specifically are happening in kind of the weird cases, like when they gave me one letter, or when they gave me that empty string that has zero letters in it. Okay, so what I could do is write an if statement, and I'll just ask a question. Okay, I'll say, you know, is the length of this string less than two? And if it is less than two, well, my thought is that it can't possibly end in ly. Okay, so if there's not two letters to begin with, they can't possibly form the string ly. So in that case, I would return false. Okay, remember that this is a Boolean return method. Okay, so what that means is we have to give back a Boolean value. This is not a string, so don't put double quotes on it. Put double quotes there, you're going to get a compile error because you're not going to be satisfying the return type of this method. Um, you don't need to use an else here, okay, because of how return methods work. Uh, once it does return false there, it would void the second return. That code would not be read but it's not incorrect to put an else here. Okay. So I've also put here, down in the notes, you may have noticed a little alternate solution. Uh, we could do this to avoid writing an if statement for short strings. This pads the string by always putting two asterisks in the front of the string. You're guaranteed to never see an out of bounds error because you'll always have a string of at least length two. This will not affect the letters at the end of the string. By, by, by padding the front of the string, we're not doing anything to change the end. And we've not put in any false cases that are going to lead to a true by, like, incorrectly identifying an LY. So that solution would work also if you want to try that one.